Okay. On the hill of Cheka, the Kampala suburb, youngsters converge every evening with the common goal of becoming the best in the country through sports. Before an exchange of tactics, warm-up drills take center stage on top of the mountain. Now, scrutiny based on age goes on as fighters take their usual lines to train under coach Ahmed Ahad, who heads Jet Taekwondo Club. Many of these youngsters join Taekwondo only to realize that dreams of becoming international athletes can be achieved. <laughs> Kicking, self-defense and a few tactics are emphasized accompanied by discipline. To many, it was an influence of friends who inspired them into the game that has a lot of showcase. What inspired me to play this game is it helped me to be physically fit. And I love the game. The way I'm going to start. I'm exposed to physical world. Like, we go for a town, man, like, like town. Also, abroad. Like, like the youngster's dream has been realized through the efforts of coach Ahmed Ahad, who thought the boys were street children. And right now they've been, they've been training for a year and a half and their results are outstanding because they are number one in Uganda right now. And my target with these kids is to get them to an international level. Right now they're on national level, they're champions here in Uganda, but I want them to be on an international level. I want them to start traveling to go abroad, maybe even to Kenya, Rwanda, around East Africa and Europe, maybe America, represent our country. Despite the dream, many challenges have been manifested by the club that has won 21 national medals. The National Council of Sports emphasizes developing other sports like Taekwondo, and boxing that requires less financial base to train youngsters into world-class athletes. Although played for generations, Taekwondo became recognized as an Olympic sport in 1988 with Seoul Olympics. After Seoul Olympics, the sport was officially recognized as an Olympic sports discipline during the Sydney Olympics of 2000. Ngabo Amon and Julia Sekade reporting for UBS TV.